Hey, John here. I'm glad to be here with you today to share the student resources of Reading Wonders Online. Now that you've rostered your kids, it might be a really good idea to explore what the student experience looks like. We want students to own their digital experience, and so we're going to walk you through the dashboard that the student will see when they log on to Reading Wonders. Notice today I'm logged in as my friend Brandon H. In our previous videos, you'll recall that that was a student in one of Brandon's classrooms. And you can see that as Brandon H. brings up his dashboard, he can see the weekly concept and the essential question that has been calendared by the teacher. It's real important to do this after you've had that opportunity to set up your calendar. As we look at the dashboard, first we're going to click into the student's to-do list. Here the student can see all the things that they're responsible for during this week of instruction. As I go back home, we can click in and find the visual vocabulary resources for this week. These allow the students to interact repeatedly with the key academic and domain-specific vocabulary for this unit of study. Next, we'll click into the writing resources. Right. Here, the student can access graphic organizers, the writer's workspace resource, and can participate in the writer's workshop supported by the digital resource. As we move on around, we get to a place that really excites Reading Wonders learners across the nation. All of the games that build both grammar and vocabulary awareness. And now let's just go back home and move forward and look at the differentiated reading list. These are the pieces that the teacher can assign as available just to Brandon H. And then we'll see if Brandon happened to be a student that was experiencing uh, WonderWorks, the intervention resource that's part of the Wonders Suite, we could see the adaptive learning pathway. Now I'm going to move up along the top of the student screen and just share some of the resources that will also support the student's experience. I can click into my binder. This is where I can see as a student, my to-do list and all of my work in progress. As I go back through, I can see each of the things I'm working on and access it in one place. Now as I click on Collaborate, I can move into where the Research and Inquiry Project lives, where I can see what I'm working on, answering that essential question as I read across text with Reading Wonders. And then I can click in and I can search all of the resources as a student that apply to my work during this week. This is important because I can own and mark my favorites. I can go again and again as part of my close reading experience into the reading writing workshop, into the literature anthology, into all of the practice and application opportunities. And finally, I can click on a school to home tab and I can share with my parents or caregivers at home in both Spanish, English, and even Haitian Creole a letter that summarizes everything that I'm working on in this week with Reading Wonders. Now that you've had a chance to look at the student experience on Reading Wonders, we'd like you to experience it for yourself. So I invite you to log on as one of your students and just take a trip through each of the resource tabs we've explored. After you're done with that, please remember to join one of our dynamic discussion boards, share your experiences, and pose questions for the learning community. We invite you to be a part of that community. Have a great day.